Who's behind you? Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Don't like this guy's attitude already. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Is that a corpse Lord on the Redgrave floor? Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. It's a pile of corpses on the floor. This this is not what I expected to see. I thought this place was going to look like uh, really posh and fancy, but it's clearly been there raided. Been quite a battle here. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. I, I suspect there's some stuff to steal I'm first. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. What have we got here? History and purpose of the Ascalon Club. Should we read this one? The Ascalon Club is an association of gentlemen secretly aiming for the protection of the Crown's interests. I founded it in 1837 to honour and perpetuate the legacy of my maker, William Marshall, 1st Earl of Pembroke and the true protector of England. If anyone doesn't know the story of William Marshall, he is uh, purported to be the greatest knight that England ever had. And look him up on Google. He was a champion of tournaments. He was... Uh, loved by everyone. He was like a superstar of, of his age. I think he was a great soldier as well. I assume he was. I don't know the exact history, but the, these are what I've heard, the rumours of him um, uh, of the time. So there's probably, uh, probably like there is all, all these things, a, a deeper, darker, more accurate truth. But uh, yeah, that's, that's and that's going back to, I think, it's either the 1100s or 12, early 1200s. I can't remember. I think that's what it is. Where do we get to? Uh, the, William Marshall, first Earl of Pembroke and the true protector of England. Uh, all the members of the club must be of good extraction and flawless moral fibre. They're vampires. They're politicians. I don't think so. Since the club accepts mortal members who will be duly observed and valued as proper candidates for immortality, the goal of the club is to impose respectable traditions and behaviours amongst the good vampire society but also to promote and expand the imperial hegemony of England. We are the true elite of British society. We are Ascalon, the holy lance held by St. George. St. George's protector of England when the saint slew the dragon. As lance bearers ourselves, we vow to defend the empire's interests. I don't like this, 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 these guys at all already. I'm, I'm, I've got my hackles up. I don't trust them, folks. I don't like them. It sounds sleazy to me. That's it's locked. locked. Anything else that I can I can steal while I'm in here? I get this invitation to this prestigious club. The guy wanders off without me and I just go around looting all the stuff. Sounds like me. This is either out or this is a story in here. Meeting someone is, is happy that he came back from the war reminds me of the old Siegfried Sassoon's poem. I died in hell, they called it Passchendaele. Meaning that nobody really comes back from war. Well, those who went through the horrors at the front would certainly bring back things with them. But there'd be lots of people who served in the armed forces that didn't experience that. There'd be lots of people who served behind the lines that wouldn't have seen the blunt end of it so like people in the supply trains um just there, there would have been lots you know you know what i mean not everyone has the the horrific experience of those who had to fight in the trenches or uh, certainly had to fight in the trenches more than once did that just take me out the back door i am disappointed disappointed game gave me a long loading screen for that should have a sign saying exit or fire exit only or this fire exit is alarmed or just back door would have done loading screens are long in this considering I've got it installed on an SSD I think this is a port from a console version I think so it might just be a Microsoft 
app store thing as well. This is a long loading screen. This is a sort of length of loading screen that makes me wonder if it's crashed, but nope, there it goes. It's good. Right then, shall we try this again? Arthur Pembleton. He is down here. Do we need to talk to him? Welcome to the Ascalon Club. No. Then, Dr. Reed. Cool, let's take a look upstairs. Okay, so it looks it looks Wait! That's the same picture as uh, was on my um, study wall in my mansion. It didn't doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know if it's a relative or it's, it's maybe just uh, somebody famous. Could my father have been in the Ascalon Club? And you guys say I don't notice these things. Warfare has advanced over the years. You can imagine how it was the first... However, it was in the set time of the game. Let's not even mention the field medicine practices. Uh, I think, well, field medicine by World War One had actually come on quite a way. Although, as always, there are short of stretcher bearers at the front, especially at the start. I mean, considering what people had to endure just in day-to-day -day life at home, not in warfare. Um... But that was no great shake either. Let's see. Is, is he in here? Hmm. I mean, I'm not saying that the people who, who served, um, if they weren't at the front, they had an easy time of things. No, they didn't. And they, they would still have seen stuff they didn't want to see. No, without a doubt. But I think there was a report that... The average recruit, and this is to show how rife poverty was and how living conditions weren't all that clever, but it, I think it was in 1914 or 15, the average recruit in the British Army gained the best part of a stone in weight after joining the army because the food and the rations were just more reliable and better quality than uh, the stuff they could afford on their take-home pay from factory labour or, or whatever they did as a, for a living. And that, that was something that surprised me when I learned about it. Just imagine joining the army. Okay, rations aren't that clever. But um, a lot more physical activity. Well, apparently not. Good evening. Oh, what I'd give for a Molotov cocktail now. We'll have this game finished in the next five minutes. Focusing on the book. Those dead roses. My good friends, if I may have your attention. We're outside my study door. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, here, here. here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Hmm. She has proven useful. Could go along with that. But you're right, Pan, yeah. The new war and new weapons, machine guns, gas attacks, flechette attacks, air raids. And you're certainly right about the new weapons, gas attacks in particular, and flamethrowers, I think. Were they used for the first time in World War I? Uh, sort of kind of injuries gas and fire um well i mean fire ships would have there would have been horrible burns and stuff uh, from particularly from naval warfare i guess in previous conflicts but flamethrowers and gas attacks would be horrific injuries to treat absolutely horrific okay um i admire her she is a close friend 
I'm going to play along with him, I think. She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why suddenly so friendly? Why are you suddenly so friendly? The last time I met one of yours, he tried to kill me. Are you referring to Fergal? He was the most useful of servants, but he was just a servant. You, on the other hand, Doctor, proved yourself much more worthy. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Um... Hmm, don't speak about my family. Let's do How it. dare you speak so flippantly of my family? Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. Well, it looks like I have no choice but to say I consent to join, so... Let's just go with it. Speed this up. The club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. <laughs> initiation? My initiation. Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, Please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is, Is his blood pure? pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. What? It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. We sign in blood? I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Bloody tradition. Ooh, I hate stuff like that. In the wrist of all places. Yeah. No, I agree. The Great War is a fascinating subject. Uh, have you seen the Great War YouTube channel? It's one of my favourite channels. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! <laughs> Tossers. Is that us done? Alright, let me loot this place. We might think about talking to someone in a minute, but I'm gonna have a quick look around. Ooh, is this, uh... Oh, that's just come out the other door. That was the door that was locked to us before. You haven't seen the Great War Channel? Um, it's... Well, let me... 
I mean, search for The Great War on YouTube. There's a, there's a channel. I'm sure it's called The Great War. Um, it They started in... Twen yes, 2014. And they did a weekly episode called On This Week 100 Years Ago. And it's great. It's just a 10-minute episode. And it goes through all the major events and interesting stories what happened on that week 100 years ago. And it followed it from just before the start of the war and the build-up to it all the way through to the end. And they the carried on afterwards as well. But it was uh, right up to the end of the war. And it was, it, I, I learned loads of stuff that I had no clue about because in the UK, we're not really taught about a lot that happened on the Eastern Front. And there was loads of really interesting stories came back from there. And I had no clue about half of it. So I, I love the show. It's one of my favorite, favorite channels. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I, I found it in 2015, I think, late 2015. So I binge watched massively. Um, about a backlog of a year's worth of, of episodes, about 60 episodes <laughs> to catch up. Um, it was really good. They've changed presenters now that the, they've got past 2018. Um, and I haven't watched any of the shows with the new guy in. Because uh, my interest kind of faded a bit once I got to the end of the war, just after. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's really good. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. Um, I am perfectly fine. I feel perfectly fine. Do I have cause for concern? Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, <laughs> by the way. Uh, another one of these names, Aloysius. They've really researched some queer names for this. Mr. Dawson of Dawson and Dawson, the wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. <laughs> to cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. Money can't solve everything. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we <laughs> oh, need no. is a wall. A formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. And we're going to make the vampires pay for it. <laughs> uh, it's dangerous because it's going to cause a rebellion, you fool. By doing so, you would create two separate ghettos. What if the disease gets past the wall? The results would be disastrous. Not if we eliminate all suspected cases of infection as soon as they appear. Unnecessary. Sacrifice. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns? Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. I like this, this club less and less the more I learn about it. Who are these toffs? Oh, I can't talk to them? Brilliant. I don't feel the need to talk to any more of these idiots. What's this stuff going on here? These, what's with the roses? Because that was outside my father's I know we're study door. A crisis, but I'm shocked no one that took the went time well, to did it not? The clubs it is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago, well, not quite a general, 
but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Dr. Edgar Swansea. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Some Skulls are peaceful. Skulls, skulls are victims. Skulls are hostile vectors of contagion. That is a fact. But first and foremost, they are victims. I agree, Dr. Reed. Most of the new Skulls who roam the streets at night used to be good British citizens. But they must be put down nevertheless. So... What do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find and get results. Carte blanche? Is that like an ice cream? Mesmerized level, new citizens available to kill. Family portraits, find the sources of infection in the weekend. In the weekend, in the West End. I've got Friday night fever, I'm looking forward to the weekend, too much already. Okay, so we just have to find the sources in here then. Does this mean looking at the portraits or anything? Family port, there are portraits here. I don't know that this is anything. It just says... Lord Finney. Did we talk to Lord Finney? He's a level... S oh, we've got level 6 people here. Wait a minute. Can I talk to these people now? What was he called? No, I don't get XP. I don't think I can ever mesmerize these people. They might be involved in a massive epic fight at the end, perhaps. And him? Mesmerize level 20. I think. I think that says it all about them. One last bother about World War One. If you've not watched Beneath Hill 60, I do recommend watching that. It sounds familiar. Uh, just give us a quick rundown what, what that's about, Pan. Was that one of the, the underground uh, bunkers and stuff? Or was that one of the big mines that they dug? Beneath Hill 60. Sounds familiar from somewhere like his documentary. Might as well fill this water up because I've got about 20 minutes to kill while this loading screen finishes. I've probably got time to walk to the kitchen. Make a little snack, put some toast on, get some more drinks. See the family, ask how everyone's doing, <laughs> read the paper, take the dog for a walk. Oh, we don't have a dog yet. Got time to go and get a dog. Yay, finally. Okay. Question, citizens, about I the think infection. Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Women of all countries unite. Right, you tell me about this infection. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Doctor Reed. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullanies. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Thank you very much. I don't know if that was useful. Anything we've unlocked? Nothing. Well, there's probably is. Goodbye, Charlotte. <laughs> I'm in the mood for it. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. 
She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Yeah, probably had time to go and play with the kids in Digo. Actually, my youngest daughter asked it asked if we got Zoo Tycoon. You know, it was part of the Microsoft Game Pass. Uh, well, I thought I'd try it out with a laugh. Enjoyed it. Bought it for the kids in the Steam sale. Then found out, because I was thinking we'd play multiplayer with them, right? Then found out that uh, it's not cross-platform. Can't. So, because I bought it from the... Well, I don't buy it. I've got it access to it through the Microsoft Store. I can't play with friends who have it on Steam, which sucks. But my youngest daughter suggested tonight, forgetting that fact, that um, I play co-op with Good her and stream that. Dr. Reed. <laughs> a great night, which was never going to happen. But uh, I thought it was quite a cute suggestion. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Well, not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand. Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. This guy's voice, anyone recognize it? It sounds like there's a comedian. Um, Bald-headed guy, always dresses in a suit. He's gay, and he's got, he's got this voice. He's often on um, 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, or what else have I seen him on? Oh, I think he was on the, the panel of the Bake Off or something like that. Is he called Tom something? He, he, he won't have done the voiceover, but he sounds just like this guy. Beneath Hill 60 is a story of the Australian Tunnelers first company and their story of underground warfare during the Battle of Ypres. Um, I wonder if I've, I wonder if I've seen that. I must admit that's that's not something, I, that that's one of the most horrific things I could imagine. Partly because I'm, partly claustrophobic about stuff like that being underground and things. Uh, but um, yeah, that just sounds, well, no, horrible, horrible. I guess they used Goodbye, a, Mr. a lot of um, people who'd sure had experience of mining of and tunneling and stuff in civilian life the war, hadn't they, for stuff like that. My brain works in strange ways. Can't remember names, but no people's sexual orientation. I'm terrible with names. I never forget faces and rarely forget voices. Okay, so we've got two things to look at over here. Let's go this one. There might be more than this to look at as well. Yeah, the reason I remember his sexual orientation is because a lot of his jokes revolve around it that building is under quarantine could this be what i'm looking for it's locked does right. sound like it when you hear the screaming coming from the inside there is there a way up and over take a look at the map oh don't make me do that don't make me go all the way around here Okay, well, let's let's do it then. Oh, I could go through the... As oh, I'm not going through the Ascalon Club because... I'd have to go through... Um oh, I can't get through that way. I'd have to go through loading screens. And I ain't got time for that. I might have no choice, actually. Let's see if I can get past these guys. I'm just going to sprint past them. I am. Oi, you listening? Is this? Yeah, let's just get past. That's the way to do it. Do they aggro me? No. Good. I heard somebody going, help me, help me earlier. I didn't, uh... The hell is that on the floor? Oh, it's the white paint. Thank <laughs> God for that. I'm going to sneak up on this dude here. Let's pin it nope. down! Ow. Hang on, this axe has stun on it now, right? <laughs> oh, it's level 29. Slaughter him. That was not enough damage. Oh, 
Is this how this fighting's going to work? Because that is going to be extremely repetitive. If highly effective. <laughs> it's quite funny. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking I should really evolve roundabout now because the, the, the mobs are getting harder. Let's just see where I'm going. 